Pat's Two Cents. This here, the video you're about to watch is a serious warning. I start out kind of jokingly because I'm not really sure where God's taking it. But I want you to listen to this video from beginning to end. God is warning somebody. Somebody better pay attention while you still have time. This is very serious. Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. This song has just been on my mind, and I think God's trying to tell somebody something. There are times we are in toxic relationships. There are times we are in toxic situations that we got ourselves in, and we need to get ourselves out of. If it's self-destructive, if it's non-productive or counterproductive, you need to get out, especially if you didn't consult with God in the first place and he did not give you the green light. Listen to this. You remember this old song? This is back in my day. 50 ways to leave your lover. Just slip out the back, chat. Make a new plan, stand. You don't need to be caught, all right? You just listen to me. Now you hop on the bus, Gus. You don't need to discuss much. Just drop off the key and get yourself free. Now, what I want to say to you about that. <laughs> some of you need to drop some things like a hot potato. You need to get your heels to clicking, baby. You need to get a move on. Because staying where you are is like a person sitting on a railroad track, watching the train come. They can't get the car to start. They can't move it backwards or forwards. And sometimes you gotta let that car go, say, I still a bye-bye, baby. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Get out of the car, the situation, the relationship. Get off, get your behind off the track if it chooses to stay. And you can live to see another day, get another car, and get over it. Don't die in the car as the train comes and, and just totally tears it apart. Don't stay in anything with anybody that you know is going nowhere but down. It will bring you down. And sometimes God is telling you, you better get out now. Or it will be your behind. Don't worry about what's going to happen to them and everybody involved. It will be your behind. That's all you need to be concerned about is your narrow behind. So ask God. Seek him. See if this word is for you. But I believe somebody is being cautioned, warned, alerted, whatever the case may be. And God may be telling you, get your behind out of this now. This is not my will. You hear me? Your prayer should always be, thy will be done on earth, in my life, as it is in heaven. Don't sit there and tell a human being, a situation, a trick bag, your will be done. Don't tell the devil your will be, no, 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 no. Don't even tell your flesh, my will be done. No, because sometimes your will is the worst that can be decided on. Do not lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Are you willing to acknowledge? Are you willing to give him that nevertheless love? Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will. Nevertheless, not what I want, not what I'm hankering for, but what you want for me. Trust him. Trust your life, your situation, this moment in his hand. He knows the beginning from the end. You don't. You don't see that train coming around the bend. You don't know your car is getting ready to run out of gas right at the moment it sits partway before and after that track. You do not want to be sitting in that car 
when that train comes barreling down on you. Get out of it while you can. I'm going to leave you with that. You take that to the Lord. He knows what the situation is. He knows what the business deal is. He knows what the contract is. He knows if it's a marriage you're getting ready to get into. He knows if it's a bad relationship you need to get out of. Whatever it is, get out while you can. Some of you are in abusive relationships. Get out while you can. Some of you have a husband or a wife that abuses your child. One day if you don't get out, that child could die. Get out while you can. You have no idea what this is about. I sure don't. But God does. Go to him. Double check with the master planner. God bless you.